Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today we're going to do part two of this image that we started yesterday. Um, I will leave all the colors that I'm using in this part uh, down below, as well as all the links to everything I'll be using. Um, I'll also leave a link for part one um, that we did yesterday in case you missed it. Um, so you can find that there. Uh, and we're still using um, Neotus and Pablos, possibly some polys. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, so I think we'll just jump straight into it because uh, it'll take a while. Let's see here. Let's see if I can just get it to focus. like so i think that's good so we're going to start with some neo twos and i'm just picking up the leftover um russet i think that we have on the palette so let me see yeah russet from the neo twos uh, but you can use whatever you have at your disposal whether it be king arts or gelatos or whatever as long as it's a a brownish color so we're going to start, let's see, up here, and we're going to do all the little in-betweens. Uh, like so, we'll also do this part on the bottom here, because that looks woodsy to me, uh, at least on top. The one on the bottom looks like it's grass, so that will probably be some type of green. But we're going to focus on the top today, and we'll kind of work our way down. see like so just a light layer of this trying not to use too much water like so and let's get some more on the brush and we will try to do all these little in-betweens uh, just go around all the leaves and the vines So I pretty much have no plan, as usual. Let's see, just get in there. What I like about it, um, the Neo 2s as a base is that if you, you know, get some in, in the leaves or something, you can just go over it with pencil and you can't really see it. see like so i don't think i can zoom in anymore without um without it being all fuzzy so i'm just going in these little in-betweens and this is why i never really clean off my palette because i'm pretty much just using the leftovers from yesterday. I still have leftovers from last time I used it too. Although I have no idea what that is. It could be ink tense maybe, I don't know. Let's see, like so. There's some orange on there too, but that's okay. Do, I think maybe I need a little bit more color on here. Just might be a little too light Let's see like so only time I clean my palette is when it's like really dirty and I can't really fit anything else on it that's another fun thing to do to grab your palette with uh, all your leftovers on it and do a page with using only the leftovers. Let's see, sorry, I'm trying to get the page where I want it. Like so. I wonder if we should do this one on the bottom while we're at it. Um, just this part right here. Um, 
that way it'll be done and we can just do this while we wait for that to dry because I don't want to go in and do the the leaves and on all that yet because um, it's still wet so maybe we'll just do this part down here because they do match um, so let's see I'm trying to I think this is an in-between here and right there this is grass it looks to me at least so that will be done when we get to this part but I just want to do these two here because they look the same to me I got too much water on my brush let's see here maybe it wasn't a good idea to have that extra cup of coffee this morning or I mean it's still morning but I need some more coffee so probably shouldn't have had a second one forgot that I had to do tiny stuff See, and this I don't know how well the camera picks this up but it is there and it'll be easier to go over with pencil which saves a lot of layering time and then it's very very light but it's it's there let's, let's get this here uh, get this like so now let's get this in here And I suddenly got some in the leaf there, but that is okay because we'll cover it up with the green. See, I think I got all of them. I think, and I still have pigment on my palette. <clears throat> okay, so let me check up here, make sure, yeah, it is dry. So we don't have to bring out the heat gun, at least not yet. Uh, I'm going to use a light olive. So basically, if you don't have the Neo 2s, just use like a, a light, dirtyish green. Um, and I'm just going to put some down here on the palette, which is not in frame. Let's see. And I'm going to go in and base all, all the leaves with that. I just need to tilt my book a little. I don't, still don't like to put my hand in here in case it's a little bit wet. Let's see. So very lightly. Um, just go over with this because I want this to be a little bit darker. get all of these I love this green it's such a great green like so and get this here and this is why I'm using the um the Pablos with the Neo 2s uh, mostly because they they match up pretty pretty well they have somewhat the same colors let's see here I think I missed a part there I need to remember to do that when it's dry so I missed, missed some wood there. This is when you will find all the places that you forgot to do. Or at least um, I do. Let's see, like in there. I think this, I don't know. I can't tell. I 
Let's get some more in there. I missed another spot. <coughs> Ooh, my voice. I missed another spot there. Ooh. I haven't talked a whole lot this morning yet, so my voice is still waking up. So if I sound uh, wonky, just excuse me. See, like so. Let's check down here. It's dry. So let's just do this one while we're at it. And then while we're doing down here, this will dry and we can go in with the brown where we missed it. Let's see, make sure I am in frame. Oh, I have a shaky hands, of course. Like so. Oh, there's so much water in this brush. I don't know why all of a sudden there's so much water in it. I haven't even squeezed it like today. Like so. I may have to scribble some more on my palette. Put this here. <clears throat> Ay, geesh. Put this there. Maybe I don't have to. Like so. And then, let's see, I do want, while I remember, to just grab some of this brown and get up in here and put that in where I missed it. I see there was another place here, right in there. And then I do need a tiny bit more of the olive green while we're at it. Um, and I'm going to do these trees here. Just really quick. See, like so, that may have been, oh, was that a tree? I don't know. It is now. Can't see, this is so tiny, I can barely see what, it, what, what they are. These are definitely trees. That's a mountain back there. This is a tree. And this is just that olive, um, light olive I will put it in the description like so just so that we have those done while we're working with that same color okay so there I think is our base for that um and we'll probably just start with that and we'll go a little We'll, we'll start one thing and, and completely finish it. So, um, I'm going to let this dry completely and then we will go in with some pencil. Um, so I will be right back. Okay, so my page is all dry. And I am going to go in with the same browns that we used in the last part. So I'm going to start with Umber, which is number 049. And I am going to go in um, right along the uh, leaves. I'm also going to put some here by the edge. 
maybe a little bit on the bottom here. See, like so, it's so tiny. So I am keeping a very sharp point. And a little bit up top. And I need to get around here. Like so. Don't even know if it's showing up, but it will. Just go around all the stuff, kind of like you're just tracing it on, you know, on the outside. If that makes any sense. Like so. Here's one. We can maybe start with just that. Then we will finish that off and move our way over. So uh, brown ochre, which is number 037. And we go over, uh, over the umber and pull it out some. Like so. there get in here and also this here and then we will go in with the ochre which is number zero three five we'll go over all of it like so and we're going to do that all across um around the uh flowers the flowers leaves even let's get this here so back to the umber you can just go all the way across if you want do it all at uh all at the same time So get in here. Sorry if I'm if I'm quiet while concentrating. This is so tiny. I am not used to all this um, itty bitty stuff. See, like so, get this here. Get in there. Okay, I think I am just gonna get the uh, brown ochre out and we'll finish off this part here. Like 
like so. get in here and then in with the ochre I remember all the places so hard to see it's so easy to miss some because it all kind of blends in because it's so tiny and busy Like so, I think. Then back to our umber. Let's go around all this. Like so. I think this is a space like an in-between space so we'll do that and also this tiny bit here and then there's this Um, let's see, maybe we'll do a little bit more. in there and this here I might just go all the way to the end now that I'm almost there in here <clears throat> in there around these tiny leaves here like so <clears throat> oh and my voice is still going Probably just have to run and get a drink. Okay, there. I think I have to fix my brace too. Uh, the brown ochre. Let me just go 
over the umber, pull it out. Um, let's see, try not to miss any here. Did I get in here? No. Trying not to miss any. I may have. But like so, then we'll go with the ochre. And just go over pretty much all the brown Like so, like that, I think maybe a little bit more there and a little bit more up here. I'm kind of using it as a, as a blender. And let's see, like so, then We'll get our umber back and we will let's see, we'll go right here along, you know, where it's more tucked in underneath this. And we'll go and we'll trace those lines. We'll go all the way around. Like so, get around here, let's see this here, this, get these lines here and just go over them. Like so, then we'll go on with our brown ochre. And we'll go over the umber and pull it out. So not quite all the way out, but almost. And then ochre. We'll just go over from the light and blend it into the dark. Let's see, like so. Also, it's a little, like, I don't know, it looks a little weird here, so I'm just going to go over a little bit there. Like so. Let's just do the same on this side. 
there. Okay, so that's our woodsy top. Um, then we'll go in with the greens. So we're using almost the same greens as we did yesterday. So I'm going to start with the dark green. And we'll go dark to light. Let's see, I need to sharpen mine because it's so tiny and detailed. And I'm going to just go in the like little centers, or not centers, but like a little, maybe a little underneath here. Just like where they, basically where they start, where they overlap. So the dark green is number 229. Let's see, just like so. Not too much, like so, just a little bit in, maybe we'll get a little bit here because it will be darker there because it starts and stops. Let's get here, I'm really hoping y'all can see, at least I'm in frame, Oops, something. You can try to zoom in a little bit more. Let's see, like so. Like so. Let's try to zoom some, maybe. Pretty zoomed in already. Let me see. Is that clear? I hope so. So get this here, get this up top here, both sides of this. Let's, see, let's get this end here. Uh, this one, uh, this side. like so this I think would go there so this stops here don't forget about these leaves So, I think that kind of overlaps, so I'll put some there. Like so. this up a little and here like so I think I got them all look at me go um then we'll use uh we'll use our emerald which is number two one zero and we're gonna go over the dark and pull it out almost to the end but not quite we'll leave a little of the base Like so they don't all have to be identical. Oh, I thought that came out weird, but you know, y'all know what I mean. <clears throat> Let's see, like so, get a little like that.
pull it down here. Uh, I missed one, so let me get my dark green out and do that. So, get up on both sides here. Like so, almost there. Let's see, I do want this a little further out. there and this I think is the last one so then instead of the yellow grain that we were using for the leaves we're going to use the light olive so that is number two four five we're going to go over this kind of go from the light into the dark Like so. The Pablos have <clears throat> so many um, pretty olive colors. I love using the olives. Let's see here. Get over these leaves here. Like so. This here, like so, and then I think get a little bit more on this one here, and then this there. I think that is all of the top of that. Um, I so said we still got the one down here, but I could just do that on my own time. I'll literally do the same thing. Uh, the grass will do in the next part probably because I'm working my way down. Uh, but this part here I can just do on my own. I'll literally do the same thing as I did up here. Uh, but it's so itty bitty and it takes so much time. Uh, but it will be done the same way as this. Here, this one. I forgot that I zoomed in that much. Um, so I think I need to get my nails back out because I want to base this stuff here and probably work start working down here. So I'm going to get those back out and I will be right back.
Okay, so I got my nails out, and I got the black, let's see, black, and I'm going to scribble that on the palette, and I also got some, let's put that there, um, Prussian blue out, and I'm going to scribble that down, and of course it started pouring and storming, so... I'm hoping power stays on. So I got my Tisa brush and we are going to do this area right here. Um, and I'm going to get my black, mix it with a little bit of the blue. Because I'm going for, um, you know, it looks like kind of like a night sky up here. So we're going for that. Uh, so just going to start filling it in. It doesn't matter if you go over the little dots. We'll be going over with um, with some gel pen. So I'm just going to fill this in with the black. Of course, I got a dog hair in there. Let's see. It's a little too much blue. But that's all right. I'll fix that. I'll go over with some more black. So, get some more black in there. in this whole thing like so get a little bit more here I might have to wait a minute and let it dry before I go over with more because I don't want the paper to peel or bleed through <clears throat> So let's get the blue and the black out. A little bit more blue than black this time. And we'll do this part down here. Oh, and that dog hair keeps moving around. I have to get that out of there. Like so. Then I do trying to think if I want, because I want the sky to be bluish. So probably use the same blue. And we'll just go ahead and fill that in down to the clouds. A little, I'm going to have to turn my page a little bit to get a better angle. See, I'm also going to go in with some, I'm also going to mix in some of this light blue um, with the uh, darker blue. Down here, down in between the trees here, that's a mountain right there. Let's see, like so, kind of pull that down a little. Right there with the sun. this down here get some more of that light blue in there it's okay if it's a little streaky right up top we'll go over with pencil and kind of just <clears throat> smooth it out I'm gonna go down here use more of the light blue
it's okay if it's not completely even because the sky is never um you know even like so See, let's pull it all the way down here. Let's just go all up to the edge here. In between here, my voice is wonky again. <clears throat> so let's get it in here. All the way up to the edge there. Like so. Get that blue. A little more like that. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we need blue? Going back over here a little, there's a bit of a line here. I kind of want to smooth out a little. Like so. Then we will get, uh, see we'll use this yellow, I think it was just yellow. We'll use that yellow. Make sure your brush is clean because we just use blue. We don't want a green sun. So I'm getting some of that yellow. So I'm going to go right here in the sun. Like so. I don't even know if that even shows up. Then we're going to use some gray. For the mountains. Pick that up. Just kind of fill that in. Uh, mountain here. Like so. Uh, we can pick up the green that we, I well, I still have it on my palette from yesterday. Um, so it would be the emerald green, I think. Let me check. I still have it here. Emerald green. Yup. And I see yellow over there. And we'll go over the grass area with it. Kind of fill that in. We want to base on all this. Let's see, like so. Then I am going to go in with a little bit of like a uh, olive, and let's see if we can put that there. Don't need much. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to put it on the tent. See, like so. Like that. Uh, actually, I'm going to use some of that gray mixed with uh, some of the light blue. Um, for the clouds, because I forgot about those, and like so, and I see I missed a little bit of sky, uh, right in, I missed some right here, and I missed some right down here. And for the 
cliffs or whatever that is. I'm going to use the same russet um, that we used as a base for the wood. like so try not to get it in the water get this part right down here then I'm going to have to dry this a little. Just do that real quick. Sorry about the noise. Like so. I think that should be good enough. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go in with the turquoise blue. And do the water. So let's just pick that up. I think I may already have some on the palette, but I can't be sure. And let's do the water. I don't know why my palette, the ballot palette, my brush is letting so much water out. I haven't squeezed it like at all. going to fill all this in with this color like so I'm going to just go here as well this like so All the way down here. <clears throat> if you'll hear noises, that is the thunder. Let's see. Get on the sides here. And let's kind of fade that out a little, like so. And I did miss a little bit of brown right here. So let's get that there. And I think that is all the basing that we need to do. So I'm going to put my nails away again. And then I get my pencils back out. And we will start um, penciling this in. All right, so I got my black out, and I'm going to go in with some black right up top there. So still using Pablo's. Let's see, so I just need to turn a little to get a better angle. And also dry it. And I definitely want black up here. I want it to be lighter as I go down. So I'm just putting a little black right up in here. Then I got the Prussian blue out, and I'm going to go over the black and kind of pull it down. 
I'll go along here. I go down here. I go over the blue with a little bit of black too. I want to get the blue down. Like so. Get around the moon here. May just pull this all the way down. Go a little lighter as you move um, down towards the bottom of it. So kind of like a, a shade and fade technique. Get that white spot around the moon there. Like so. Then we will, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll go the Prussian blue continue down on this bit here I think it is actually dark enough I don't think I need any more black like so so sorry if the camera is shaking uh, then I'm gonna move uh, to night blue uh, see that's number 149 then I'm gonna fill in the rest go over some of the Prussian blue and and pull it down because this looks very night timey to me I know there's the Sun there but it looks like it's you know setting or it might be rising I don't know so I'm going to go fill in this right up top here. I don't know if this is such a great idea to start with the, uh, the sky because I don't want to pull it into anything else. But we'll just, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's see. And I do need it to be a little lighter. Just made a boo-boo there that I have to erase. Pull it down, kind of fade it out a little. Very lightly. Does not have to be completely even, because like I said, the sky is not, you know, even when you look at it. It's very blotchy and, you know, uh, light blue, uh, which is number 161, and we're going to use this all the way down. Let's see, let's get down here, get down like so, try not to get it in the trees. We're going to stop around the sun right around here, a little bit above the sun just to not get it into that yellow Let's see I'm gonna get that night blue again because it's very right over here it's very liney that is a thing okay there that is better Go around the clouds. Just go all the way down with this light blue. Get the um along the glass here. <clears throat> my voice is going again, my goodness. Let's 
see like so i'm trying not to like dilly dally around because it is storming here and power goes out so easy so i'm trying to be uh not rush but just trying to uh not dilly dally if that is the thing go over all the blue sky parts with this color Let's see, that is a uh, ocean, or I don't know if it's an ocean or a lake. It could be a lake. I don't know. Let's see, go up all up on the glass here. Productive. That's what I'm trying to be. Productive. I know. We, I talked about it like five minutes ago. But productive is the word I was looking for. My words are always failing me when I'm when I'm doing this like so I think maybe I want to take my night blue I'm gonna go in under the clouds here a little like so and maybe a little bit around them And it's okay if you get some blue in the clouds. Sometimes they do have some color in them. I'm back in with the light blue. And just kind of layer it on there. Color down here looks a little off, but I think I may have accidentally gotten some leftover palette stuff in the blue but I still like it so it's okay like so and that is supposed to be our background um so I think <clears throat> we'll just kind of finish these sections as we go so I'm going to use um a gold um pentel I think it's the it's a Sleechy, the uh, dual hybrid, and I'm just using the gold for these little dots here. I've never used these gel pens before. I just got them. Uh, so just put these on the little dots here. Uh, but, you know, you can use any gold sparkly gel pen that you have. A gold is a gold is a gold is a gold. And you're also going to need a silver and at some point you're going to need a white. Just in case you want to get them all now. Then I'm going to use my silver. Same brand. I think, um, I think uh, Emily recommended these. Over on her channel. I already had one that I got in the sketch box. Uh few years ago Let's see like so I think I like that and then I'm going to get me maybe the mouse gray um, from Pablo's it is number zero zero six oh they're so hard to read um I'm going to put some in the mountains here. I'm kind of happy with what they are looking like right now, but I'm going to put some in behind the tent and where it's all overlapping and, and stuff. Like so. I think that is it. I think that's all kind of all I want to do with them. I'm going to add in some white, uh, but I want to do the trees. So I'll do the trees first and then we'll add in some white. Uh, same with the sun. I'll probably white that out. The uh, little line. <clears throat> Let me see. I can actually Let me get my yellow. Uh, this is canary yellow. And I'm going to add some in the sun. 
on the um like around the circle on the inside of it and i'm going to also add some a tiny bit of reddish orange um i need to sharpen mine because the sun is looking almost a little green which could be maybe i accidentally got some blue in it so yeah reddish orange which is number 040 just a tiny bit around on the inside of it like like so i need my brush but i can't really brush because i put gel pen down like so you get like so um trees we're gonna do those um try some olive gray which is a pretty dark olivey color uh because this looks to me like it's you know it's pretty far away so they would be more muted in tone so i'm going to add the olive gray right down here may go in with some darker but i'm gonna do this on the bottom i think actually that was supposed to be a mountain but i don't know no i don't think so because there's nothing on the other side so this is a tree now it may be a mountain but now it's a tree let's see just like so just on the uh bottom side or the closest to the ground may go over with some darker so i don't i feel like it's not dark enough like so here it will be more on this side at least on this tree right here because it's right next to the sun same with here pull that up a little bit more on this side the side furthest away from the sun is where you want it to be more dark. And this tree is pretty far away from the sun, all of it. So, <clears throat> see, like so. Then I am going to put in some emerald green. I'm going to go over this, kind of pull it up a little. very lightly like so so still want a little bit of that brightness in the trees there uh let's see let me get my olive black out and we'll go some on the bottom over here like so over on this side like so and then i do want i don't know i feel like it needs something so maybe i will try sorry i bumped the desk some dark green to darken this up like so and there we go i think that is our trees 
Let's see, we did the trees and we did the um, mountains. So I think I got this Arteza gel pen if it works. I think I may have to may have to go get the point six because I want it as small as possible. So I'm gonna go get my gel pen because of course I misplaced it. And I shall be right back. Okay, so I got my gel pen. Uh, it's the point six Arteza. This is also small, so I kind of felt like I needed it. Uh, so I'm going to white out the top of these mountains here. And especially around the sun, like so. Might as well just do these little lines here. But yeah, I like a smaller tip, especially because it's so incredibly small. Uh, let's do this here, like so. I might do this tree a little, because it would be the sun rays are right there. So it will kind of, you know, fuzz out the tree line, if that makes any sense. I'm thinking about the clouds, but I don't know. I might as well just try to white out at least the outer lines of the clouds. I usually don't spend this much time on the white gel pen detail because I usually forget. But today we remember. Let's see, let's get this here. Of course, I twitched there. It's so small you can't see it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just, you know, ish. Like so. Let's get this here. Like that. I think that is good. Um, let's do the. Uh, the tent. I think I want the ca oh sorry, so sorry. Khaki green, uh, which is number zero sixteen. And I'm gonna do a base. Well, it's already got a base on it, but I'm gonna cover the whole thing with the khaki green. Mine needs to be sharpened. I've never sharpened this. Huh. It's a good color. Okay, that's better. Okay, so go over the whole thing here, like so. This tent is very big compared to everything else. Maybe it's a giant tent. Then let's get the olive gray. We'll fill in this on the bottom here. And same with the middle right here. Darker as you go backwards because it's, you know, where it gets smaller, it's usually further away. And the further away you go, the, the darker things get and also cooler in color. Like so. Um, olive black. And we're going to use this for the back here. Kind of shade and fade. I'm liking this page with the uh, colors that I don't always use. Let's see, like so. Get this um, olive gray back out and go back over a little. And on the bottom here. Like so. Also a little bit of the olive black right down here. And also in, let's just get in here because it will be very dark in there. And that little opening there. Uh, then we're going to do the grass, which will be dark green. 
further away. So back here. And basically all the way in the back, it will be darker. And then we'll kind of fade it out into a lighter green as we go forward. We'll use the same three grains on the grass that we used for um, the leaves here. So the dark green, the emerald, and the yellow green. Also get some underneath the tent here because it will be shaded. Kind of fade this out a little. And also underneath here, create a little bit of a shadow, I think. Like so. Move to emerald. Oh, I got so much stuff on the desk now. Pull it not totally, like not totally, not all the way forward, but pretty close. Maybe around here. Let's see, like so. And the yellow green, which is number 230, right up in here, like so. Um. We'll get some umber. Um, and we will go the cliffs here in where it would be more shaded, like where it's overlapping. Um, also right on the cliff edge here. And this would be darker and also dark in where the water is coming from. Let's just do that on both sides here. See this here. And also on the bottom because it would be wet from, well, from coming out of the water or whatever. Also a little underneath here, almost went all Norwegian there and started speaking Norwegian. And then nobody would have understood, understood a word I said, unless you're Norwegian. Uh, let's do this over here. On this side here. Let's get this bottom part. And like so, I think. I think that's all right. Let's also just get some here. Not very much because it would be, it's more um, facing forward or, you know, straight on. So like so. Um, let's just use the brown ochre. Let's see how this looks. We'll go over and fade it out. I don't want too much of that regular ochre in here. So more brown ochre. Pull it out more. Let's see, like so. there and then I don't know I think I don't really want the I don't really want the ochre so maybe the Venetian red maybe we'll use that instead just very lightly because it is a redder uh, color but I don't really want to use the ochre so Venetian red instead which is number 062 
just very lightly. I want it a little bit different than all the rest because if not, it just looked the same as the wood. I think that is good like that. It's starting to come together. So let's put that away there. Then for the water, which I don't really know what I want to do with it. Well, we'll definitely use the turquoise green. And let me see. Maybe this here, maybe these three. Maybe I'll start with those three. So turquoise green first, uh, which is number one, uh, one, nine, one. Sorry. We'll just go over. Mine has a wonky tip to it. And we'll also use, there will be gel penning. Let me just see. I need the Venetian red. I missed a spot here. There will be gel penning of the water too. So let's get like so. Just put some of that coming out there. You can go over pretty much all of it with this because this is what we used as a base in the Neos. So you can pretty much just go over all of it just to kind of add a little more color to it. Get these here. all the way down here same here just gonna pull that in towards the middle like so then I do think I'm gonna go dark to light so we're gonna start with the malachite green which is number 180. I'm going to sharpen mine. Just a little. And I'm going to go down here with it. And we're going to start on the bottom. I'll work our way up. Because the water is usually, I think, darker on the bottom. The further down you go, the darker it is. So I think to me, it's just a little easier. easier way to go. Okay, so sorry about the moving of the page. Just need to tilt it a little. Hopefully that is good like so. Hoping my gel pen is dry. Okay, so here, kind of pull that up like so. Um, not going for for you know the the very blue water because the sky is very blue and you know i didn't want it to blend too much see then we're going to go in with some opaline green which is number 195 and we're going to go a little bit over this darker and pull it up And I go almost all the way up to the edge. Like so. Really hope that that gel pen is dry. Just get some more down in here. And we're going to pull it down in these drops that I skipped. I'm also going to go in the back here. Do need to sharpen, I think. Pull this forward. Might add in a little bit of blue now that I think about it. 
here. Pull it forward. I need to sharpen. So much better. Okay, there. Let's get some of this from there and like so. There's a little waterfalls here. Sorry, I keep turning my page. Hopefully I'm not making y'all like motion sick. <clears throat> like so. There. Um, get a little bit of this darker color, um, the Malachite green. It's a very bluish green. Just in, you know, where it's the furthest away. Like so. Maybe a tiny bit of ultramarine. Way back here. Way, way back here. Just very, very lightly. And maybe a little bit on the bottom here. So, then I'm going to go back in with the turquoise green. And it stopped storming. Awesome. And I'm going to go over all of it from the light into the dark. Like so. Let's get this down into the darker part here. I think, no, I think that's good. Like so. Then, um, I think that is it for the colors here. Then we will go in with our white gel pen again, and we will go over the water. Let's see, it's just a 0.6. It is. It still feels like it's too thick. Let's see, like so. Let's just get at least... Not necessarily all of these, but I do want to get where it's kind of up against the glass. Get this here, like so. Look at this side. I'm going to clean mine off a little. Get this bit here. Let's see, let's get that like so. It's a waterfall, so that would be. me. I'm not very good at this whole white gel penning. I don't know a whole lot of tricks. 
with it. Like so, I guess. Same here. Do that last one, just to get that up and to the left. Left. Well, I guess it was no, right, no. Hang on. Right. Let's see. I meant this one all the way to the end. Hey. This is not the day to not know the difference between left and right. A little bit more white. Get some more over here. Like so. And let's get a few of these. Like so. I think that looks all right. Uh, is there anything else I need? I do feel like I need a little bit more color in the waterfalls. So the opaline green. Just in here. I might throw some blue in these two. Just gonna flick some in there. And a little bit of the ultramarine. Just a tiny bit. I need to sharpen this though. Okay. A lot of my pencils got wonky points on them from sharpeners I don't use anymore. Just a little of this blue. Very, very lightly. Like so. Uh, I think that looks pretty okay, actually. I had my doubts about this picture. So, yes, that is it. And we'll do the uh, other part tomorrow. But this is it for today. Let me zoom out so we can see the whole thing. I did this part while um, I was getting my nails so that it was done. Uh, but yeah, that is it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys for the last part, um, this part here, tomorrow. And um, I'll see you guys then. Hugs and love, guys. Bye. Toodaloo.